can I come get a nice view of you? Hi guys. It's okay. Hello. Hey big girl. <laughs> Moving surrounded now by a herd of elephants. We've got a little one walking up with mom. I'm stopping to grab a quick snack. And this bush willow woodland, the combination of bush willow and raisin leaf, not all that easy considering how much the leaves have lost their nutrition. It actually died off almost completely. And they won't linger long here. Why oh, did you get a trunk full of leaves, little one? <laughs> little female calf. You can immediately tell that from her behavior. Just by the fact that she didn't look too much in our direction, scurrying across to the safety of the rest of the herd. Generally, the little female calves are a bit more retiring than the males, a bit, sh a bit more shy. <coughs> you can really see just how dry what these elephants are feeding on is. That's a red bush willow that she's currently consuming and they're going to have to eat much more of it than they might in summer to sustain their enormous body size. The fluttering of the drongo for those of you who are sharp-eyed and keeping an eye on what's going on. Always a pretty much constant companion to elephant herds like this. Little calf now feels much safer because Probably mom is right there. She's very young, the mother. Yes, it is definitely mom because the little calf is trying to suckle. You see the difference between their foot size there. This must be her first her first baby. She's a very, very young female. And I can tell that just in terms of her size as well as the area around the forehead and the temporal region. Young elephants, like young human beings, generally have more elastin in their skin. And therefore, their bones not as prominent as they are on older elephants. Hey, look at that! How cool is that? <laughs> A resting place giving us a chance to see the fine lines and cracks that run through the sole of an elephant foot. Our Ellies are moving off and James has got one of the most magnificent 